I'm in broadcast. I'm in your 12 and I'm on broadcast. On broadcast since your 10. Broadcast. I'm on broadcast. Broadcast. I'm on broadcast. I'm on broadcast. I'm Mr Butler and I teach broadcast. I'm Mr Underwood and I'm a radio teacher here at Butler Academy. Um, I teach the TV side of things um, here on broadcast at Birmingham Ormiston Academy. We do a range of things from music video production, short filmmaking, uh, advert production, corporate production where students go out and work with real life clients. Uh, we have another, uh, we have a range of other opportunities uh, with Bow TV where students create shows, music videos and things and they're broadcast online. Radio stations like you know, B2 Radio, where you can get involved and actually kind of learn that craft. And it's one thing which I would have really loved to have done while I was in a school environment. You know, being able to take your lunchtime out and go and do a radio show would have been my idea of absolute bliss. But um, I think that's brilliant having the facilities here where you can actually learn that craft. And the only way you get better at things is by trying it out. What made me decide to come to BOA was the facilities that they bring. They have a radio studio, they've also got a TV studio with a green room, they've got the equipment, uh, they've got industry standard equipment, and they've also got great teachers and great support and great opportunity. Birmingham Ormiston Academy, it prides itself on working with industry, on, you know, um, working within the creative arts. All the, all the staff here have come from a creative arts or they've come from industry so they bring something a little bit different that um, a conventional school or college wouldn't necessarily have. The teachers at Bella really do know what's best for you and what you need to do to get the grade or to, to uh, what you need to have to go on to university or, or employment. They, they don't kind of they don't teach you like a student they teach you like you're an apprenticeship or uh, you're a work colleague they, they treat you with respect as you would be treated with in the industry they, they listen to you but they also help you out when you need it um, but they're very good at stepping back to let you have your own space to let you develop on yourself as well so the skills I've developed since being a bow is probably mostly to do with designing, so Adobe Illustrator mainly, because I didn't know how to use that at all and the teachers have been really nice to help me with it after school and uh, before school. I think I've really developed my skills on that. During the short film I was the project manager and I learnt how to, you know, get in touch with people, call the location, call the, the crew and make sure they know what they're doing. And also editing, because I've always been a, you know, a fan of post-production and editing, so I learned a lot um, at Bar. I came here and I didn't know. I used a hand like a pocket camera and now I can use a JVC or a DSLR and stuff like that. So and well I never knew how to use the radio until I came to Boa, so that's my skills over the four years have just grown from that. And I enjoy the people, like the work ethic in our like class. The people, like everyone around you wants to do the same thing as you and you can work on projects together because everyone wants to do different roles so you can work on a short film together and everyone will do different roles and things. I enjoy the people around me because they all have very similar interests to me and it's a very good working environment. People that don't want to be here obviously aren't here because they didn't apply for Borough in the first place so everyone around you wants to be here and they want to do work and they have the same interests and you kind of feel more engaged with your work when you're with people around you there want to do media as opposed to people that are forced to do media. I love teaching the kids about something I feel passionate about and I like to think that sometimes that enthusiasm rubs off on other people. You know, I've had a lot of people who have got involved with the radio station sort of since I've been here and seeing that that way of engaging them and people finding an interest in maybe something they didn't have before, that is what makes me go home happy. That's why I like teaching really. 
I love the students that I teach. Um, you know, they clearly love what they do. Um, we get to see students who come here already with a lot of experience um, and they go on to do amazing things, but also students who, um, you know, not so much. They have the passion, they've got the initiative, but they haven't had the opportunity to use a lot of the equipment that we have here. So getting to see them develop really quickly. That has definitely helped me prepare for the industry because they, they drill into your mind that the industry is very hard to get into and that you need to create things like portfolios and you need to have experience. It's not always about the grades that you get, but it's about the experience you've had and the, and the stuff you've already created is what really can get you into a media company. The typical broadcast student we're looking for is somebody who might have made um, something or anything in the past, whether it be something on their phones, some photography, uh, short films, anything at all. You know, young people have so much access to different technology nowadays, um, even on their phones. Um, so we're really looking for students who are able to express their passion beyond words.